Hi guys, we're back with another method of solving linear equations or systems of linear equation. And this time, pag-uusapan naman natin ang comparison method. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Dito sa comparison method, kailangan natin i-recall yung transitive property of equality. Kung saan it states that if x is equal to y and y is equal to z, then x is equal to z. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nito, kung meron tayong dalawang equation, tapos yung same variable na meron sila ay isolated, then itong dalawang side ng equation na yun ay equal sa isa't isa. Medyo magulo ba? Don't worry. Let's apply this transitive property dito sa ating example number 1. So, again, we label this as equation 1 at equation 2. Ang ginagawa sa comparison method, kailangan i-isolate natin yung same variables sa equation 1 at equation 2. Kunwari sa equation 1, ang isolated variable ay x. Dapat sa equation 2, ang isolated variable din ay x. Tapos, gagamitin natin yung nirecall natin na transitive property. So, gawin natin yun dito sa equation 1. By the way, mag-decide nga pala tayo kung anong variable yung i-isolate natin. In this case, gamitin natin yung x. Meron tayong 2x plus 6y equals to 50. So again, kailangan natin ma-isolate tong 2x. Ibig sabihin itong 6y, ililipat natin. This is negative 6y plus 50. And then, we divide both sides by 2. So ang gagawin natin dito, meron tayong negative 6y over 2 plus 50 over 2. Negative 6y over 2 is just negative 3y and then this is 25. Ito na ngayon yung ating equation 1. Next, ang equation 2 naman natin, meron tayong x plus 5y equals 39. Kung sa equation 1, ang in-isolate natin ay x, dapat ganun din sa equation 2 x din dapat ang maiwan dito. Ibig sabihin, itong 5y, ilipat mo lang. Negative 5y equals or plus 39. So, dito, on both instances, sa equation natin, isolated na yung x, wala na siyang kasama, wala na siyang coefficient. Therefore, we can use the property. Ano yung property na yun? Magsisimula ang lahat sa reflexive property. We know that x is equal to x. Kaso itong x na to, pwede natin ipalit yung ating equation 1 which is negative 3y plus 25. Tapos dito, ang ipalit naman natin ay yung equation 2. Negative 5y plus 39. Again, this is from equation 1. And this is from equation 2. Kumbaga, kung yung x ay equal dito sa side na to, tapos ang x din ay equal sa side na to, therefore, these two sides are equal. Parang yung ginawa natin dito. And then, yan lang, isosolve na natin yung variable y kasi y na lang yung natirang variable sa kanila. Yung 5y or negative 5y, ilipat natin sa kabila. This will be negative 3y plus 5y. Tapos itong 25, ilipat din natin, transpose din natin. This will be 39 minus 25. And then let us solve the resulting sides. Negative 3y plus 5y, we have 2y. And then 39 minus 25, we have 14. Finally, dividing both sides by 2, we arrive with y equals 7. And then we will use this 7, depende kung ikaw kung anong gusto mo, kung sa equation 1 or equation 2, okay lang, pareho lang yung ating magiging sagot dyan. So sabihin natin sa equation 2 natin gamitin, meron tayong x equals negative 5y plus 39, but we will use y equals 7 x is equal to negative 5 times 7 plus 39. Negative 5 times 7 is negative 35 plus 39 using the loss of integers. This will be positive 4. Therefore, our answer 
It's 4, 7. Para makasigurado, i-check natin. So, baka may magtanong sa inyo, required po ba ang checking? The answer is yes. Kailangan i-check natin kasi minsan, nagkakaroon tayo ng error sa solution na na-overlook natin. Checking is a way to confirm if your answers are correct. At the same time, it also serves as your own reflection kung tama ba yung mga pinaggagawa mong add, subtract, times, divide dun sa mismong solution mo. So, dito, sinubstitute ko na yung 4 at 7 as x and y respectively. So, solve na lang natin. 2 times 4 is 8. And then, we have here 7 and 6. Pag minultiply, this is 42. Adding 8 and 42, we will get a sum of 50. Next, ganoon din sa kabila, x plus 5y equals 39. Ang x natin ay 4, ang y natin ay 7. This will be 4 plus 5 times 7. This is 39. 5 times 7 is 35. Pag inad natin yung 4, this will be 39. So see, pareho lang, equals equation 1 at equation 2, therefore our answer is correct. Next, we go example number 2. Dito naman, obvious na kung ano ang iiwan natin na variable. So, I suggest gawin mo muna to on your own. And then after 10 seconds, tingnan natin kung tama yung naging solution mo. Be careful on your solution. Okay, for equation 1, so, ang gagawin natin dito, y ang i-isolate natin kasi mas madali siyang i-isolate kaysa sa x na may katabing 8 at katabing 6. So, dito meron tayong 8x plus y equals negative 3. Lipat mo lang yung 8x, this will be y equals negative 8x minus 3. Yan na yung equation 1. Yung equation 2 naman, meron tayong 6x plus y equals negative 4. Same as equation 1, ilipat natin yung 6x. Magiging negative siya sa right side. Tapos ito, negative 4 pa din. And then, yun na. We will start with y equals y. Reflexive property to. Tapos gamitin natin yung transitive property kung saan itong left side pwede natin gamitin yung unang equation, negative 8x minus 3. Tapos, substitute natin yung pangalawang equation dito, negative 6x minus 4. We combine like terms. Ibig sabihin itong negative 6x, ilipat mo ulit sa kabilang side. Magiging positive ulit siya. Tapos, negative 4 pa rin to. Yung 3 na nandito sa left, lipat mo or transpose mo sa right. Magiging positive. Pag ito ay inad, negative 8 plus 6, meron na lang tayong negative 2x. Negative 4 plus 3, this is negative 1. And then dividing both sides by negative 2. We have here negative divided by negative is positive 1 over 2. So pwede pong maging fraction or decimal ang sagot. O kaya gawin nating decimal, 0.5. Next, we will use this to solve for y. So, gamitin naman natin ang equation 1. Meron tayong y equals negative 8x minus 3. But x here, let's use uh, 1 half. y is equal to negative 8 times 1 half minus 3. Negative 8 times 1 half. Using the rule on how we multiply fractions, this will be result to negative 4 minus 3. Negative 4 minus 3, that will be negative 7. So, ang ating ordered pair dito is 1 half, comma, negative 7. Let's check. Meron tayong 8x plus y equals to negative 3. Then, x here will be replaced by 1 half. And then, 7 natin, or ang y natin pala ay negative 7. 1 half times x is 4. 
dagdagan natin ang negative 7 using the laws of integers, this will be negative 3. Equal siya sa isa isa. We do the same for the second equation. We have here 6 times 1 half plus negative 7. Ang kalahate ng 6 ay 3. Tapos, mag-add tayo ng negative 7. That will result to negative 4. 3 plus negative 7, tama nga naman, negative 4. Tama pa rin yung ating sagot. So, that's it on how we use comparison method as a way of solving systems of linear equations. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.